no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back <clears throat> to another video. Today, we're going to be setting up these grain bins uh, and checking out this farm in-game on my map. So, we're going to go ahead and get into it. Um, let's see here. I need to open up a game and buy these grain bins. So that way I can get my XML lines for them. This loads up. I need to check something here. Um, hmm. Waiting and waiting and waiting. So we need the Meridian Max 14 and the Meridian. So here is a look at the fertilizer that fertilizer spreader that we'll be using. Uh, it's this MV or M whatever it is MVU eight or whatever I think is what it's called. Uh, and then eventually we'll have this one. I hope. Uh, I don't think that I'm gonna start off with any of these. I'm just gonna go right into the trailed one. But. Yeah, so I need to sell some stuff as well. Uh, I need to see, do I still have... Yes, I do. Okay. So, we need to go into the garage. We need to sell this thing. Sell this. We need to sell a bunch of this stuff and get it out of the way. Uh, we're going to keep the spreader. Because I will be... Setting that up as well. Okay. There we go. We're all set up there. Um, we'll just hop over here and go to brands. Okay, so we got this bin, and we got that bin. So these are the grain bins that we'll be using. This one just has the top bin lid. And this one has two bin lids on it. And it also has a digital uh, thing here. So that is also pretty neat. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to save this. And close it. Ok. 
Okay, and then what we gotta do is go here and go to the save game and go vehicles. And then we need the default vehicles XML. Okay, so now we need our grain bin. Okay, so we'll start off with these meridian bins, and there are, what, five of them? So this is 21, 22, 23, 24 and 25 so that should be five of them one two three four five yep okay so now we figure out which one of these is set up the same or which coordinate changes okay so this is going to be the same for all of these the X it's the same for all and then the Y is also the same Okay, and for whatever reason, we only have two oh that'd be why okay we need to redo that I just did way too much each time I was kind of thinking that was a long number And there is a good reason. Okay, so now we can do the Y. And then our rotations are all the same as well. Actually, I think I can even do this easier way. If we go Control Shift C and then highlight all of this, oops, can I go Control? All right, cool. That's gonna make it so much easier for all these rotations. I, mean, I guess I could have done that for uh, the other stuff too. I'll have to keep that in mind. Okay, so now for our Z coordinates. So this is the first guy. The second. Wait, what? Oh, okay. For a second there, I thought I had wrong numbers going, but I did not. That's right, there's six apart, so then the next one will just be 922. Nine two two. All right, so now we can get our other bin here. And we have three of those, so we can go one, two, three, 26, 27, and 28. 
Uh, now we can get this thing here. We can go Control Shift C. Now that I know I can do it this way, we'll just have to change the uh, Z coordinates on two of them. That won't be too difficult. Nine thirty-six and nine twenty-six. So those are ten apart. So that'll be even easier. Okay, and then just gotta change our rotation, and we are good to go to delete these. Um, and then we can hop on in game and check them out and take a look at this farm. Okay, we're good to go. We'll click save. We'll minimize that. We will select all of these bins and go delete. We'll save that. We can close that. Okay, so that's saved. We can close save game 7. We'll select everything here and click on animation map so that it names it animation map. We get this opened up. Uh, I do have another version in my mods folder already. We'll just pop that out there. Have a backup. Uh I had just checked out some changes that I made, so uh, and I'll show you guys some of those changes as well because I have not shown them yet. So we got about ten seconds. Cool beans. Okay. Take that, throw it over in the mods, and let's fire up Farm Sim again. Wait for it to load, of course. And we'll just use save game one. So the first thing you can see, I changed the map icon uh, to a bit nicer of a picture. I kind of like that. And then changed the background images, as you can see here. Uh, I did some work to the... Um, the text as well so it reads welcome to eastern north dakota near a little town by the name of lamore i have taken the terrain data from google earth for the area the fields river highway some farm locations as well as a few misc details are similar to the actual area but the rest is all stuff i've come up with your father is retired from farming and asked you to take over you'll find his trusty old iron equipment in the sheds around the yard along with a newer auger and bins Farm the fields you own and make some money to upgrade to area farms slash bin sites and to get more land and bigger equipment. The map has a total of around 2,942 acres of land on it. In total, it would be $7,291,993 to buy all the land, so start saving now. And then a smiley face. Happy farming and happy ranching. The map features many neat things like opening doors, soil mod, chop straw, damage mod, swathable canola, viable objects, and HD sky textures. It also includes very many, many very nice objects for many mod sites and other maps. All credit goes to the original creators for the objects. I only take credit for any objects I have made and for assembling ma the map. I've also added additional crops like sunflowers, oats, rye, sorghum, soybeans, and alfalfa. The map also has beef and pigs installed to have the ability to ranch and on top of farm. All right, so now we'll hop in here. We'll just back tab. And we got everything in here. Of course, these grain bins turned a little bit. 
I don't know why they always do that, but they do. Um, it's kind of annoying. So you can see our scale there. Obviously reading zero since we have not put a thing in this. Um, anyway, let's take a little walk around this farm here. Uh, so we got the farmyard, or the farmhouse, I mean, excuse me. Uh, I need to do a little bit more smoothing right there, I see. But, um, there's another house off of Goldcrest Valley. I did kind of show some of this stuff, but it's a little bit nicer to see in-game. Uh, so then we got this shop here. I gotta replace that door to one that actually works. Uh, this is kind of the workshop here. Uh, so we got, like, a broom. We got... Garbage and recycling bins, got an old rusted forklift, some tires, some fertilizer and chemical, we got our workbenches, some storage, we got some fuel tanks, a fent box, um, battery charger, and whatever that is. Um, walk over here, we got a little bit of a storage area here uh, that door does not work either evidently oh yeah it does okay that's right it just doesn't have the icon that is right but this one does not work so I still need to change it but we got doors on here uh, we got this door we've got this whoops this door and we've got this door so we got a little storage area here. Uh, plenty of storage on this farm. Especially here, we got a nice large Quonset, or large shed. So there's plenty of room to store thing machines in here. And also if we have any extra grain, can uh, pile it in there with the auger. Uh, we got like truck garage here. Uh, we got four bays in this it's a nice big nice big shop there and then we got four fuel barrels so we got plenty of fuel here as well um, let's take a tab around here and just see so yeah I'm gonna get the fertilizer spreader and put it right here basically um, is basically where it's gonna go Yeah, I think that's where I'll put it. Uh, I still need to change these doors as well. I haven't done that yet. And then, uh, yeah, so that's about it. Um, that'll do it for this video, guys. A little bit of a shorter one. The next video, we're going to work on putting in the beef uh, slash pig farm, I think. I have to decide uh, where I want to put that. If I want to do like a dairy farm down over there and then the other stuff up there or how I want to do it but uh, we'll figure something out here but anyway guys like I said that'll do it for this video if you enjoy the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs my upload schedule as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.